Hey everybody, I'm Eric. And I'm Connor. It's always good to have you here back at Grace Kids. And if you're new, welcome. This is a place where we can all have fun together and discover how amazing God is and how we can live His way. God can do big things through each one of us. We can put our confidence in Him because confidence is all about learning to see yourself the way God sees you. Exactly. Remember, you were made in God's image and He sees how special you are. He loves you more than you could ever imagine. When you know that about yourself, it gives you the confidence to take on any challenge. God can see all of those things about you, but our game today is more about what we can't see. It's the blindfolded jump rope challenge. Exactly. Because you see my friend Connor here has been working on the perfect playlist, but I think I know just what your playlist needs. A little bit of hip hop, baby. That's... Okay, that's a great idea, but I, I don't really understand what that has to do with our game. No, 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 dude, dude. no bro, you gotta hip hop over the jump rope. But while I'm jump roping, there's gotta be a, like another musical element, you know? What I think you need to do is rap today's memory verse while I'm jump roping. You can't be serious. I, I, I'm not rapping. I don't want to rap. No, you're, you're just saying that because you're a chicken. I'm not a chicken. Stop. I'm not a chicken. Ooh, one order of chicken nuggets, please. Fine, that's exactly why. Connor's on the menu. That's exactly why I'm saying it. I don't want to rap. I'm bad at it. I, I can't rap. Okay, well, we'll we'll rap later for now, but I guess today we'll just keep it to the, the jump rope challenge. But we will need to be listening to some hip hop music while we play. Okay, that's fine. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you feeling confident? I mean, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. Okay. Today, I have this jump rope. Eric is going to be blindfolded, and his goal is to take this jump rope from me and use it three times, jump through it three different times. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, great. Let's go. All right, ready? Ready. 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 Eric, turn around. Ready, ready. Okay, so for today's game, I have this jump rope. My goal is to keep Eric from taking this jump rope from me. Then Eric has to jump rope with it three times and I have to try to stop him while we are both obviously You're going down. Blindfold. You're going down, dude. Let's get this show hippity, hippity, on the road. Ready? All right, I'm ready. Hippity, hippity, hop. Let's go. Ready? I'm ready. Let's Take go. it from me. Three, two. No, no. Okay. Where are you? I'm scared. Are you? Are you on the floor? No. No. I'm leaving in secret. Ah! Where's the jump rope? That's one. <laughs> That's the one. <laughs> That's two. I got through it. I got through it. I got through it. That's a hundred percent two. All right, round two, we're gonna see how Connor does. I have the jump rope now, but to prove that Connor can't see anything, Connor, how many how many fingers am I holding up? 11. That is impossible. You ready? Um, already as I'll ever be. All right, let's go. Three, two, one. Ha ha! <laughs> Give me the jump rope. <laughs> no. <laughs> get off of me! <laughs> Did not get one. <laughs> where, where, where am I? <laughs> Whoa! Get me back! Whoa! <laughs> That's one. That is not. Two. <laughs> oh. What? Yes. Did you try and punch me? Maybe. Did you get it? That's three, baby! Oh, come on. Come on. That's a good game. Good game. Good game. Good game. All right, because Connor got a successful four in a row on his round, we're going to give it to him. He's the winner. Booyah! Oh! 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 All right, who's ready for our Bible story? We're learning about three friends who had a whole lot of confidence. The Bible, it's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. 
the epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story. Inspired by the book of Daniel, chapter 3. King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon liked to go big. Build me a statue. Of course, your majesty. Granite, marble, <laughs> copper. I'm thinking gold. Gold! Pure gold. Wow! Okay, six feet tall, seven taller. Twenty taller. Seventy-seven taller. Ninety. Ding, ding, ding. We have a winner. We'll need a super-sized furnace to smelt that much gold. Then supersize it. Commence the smelting. So the king's craftsmen melted down tons of gold and shaped it into an enormous statue nine feet wide and taller than two and a half telephone poles. They set it just outside the city in the broad plain of Dura. Mmm, such a finely smelted specimen. We must invite everyone to admire my statue. So the king instructed messengers to summon all of his officials. Three of them were Jewish men who had come to Babylon as captives. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. It's a royal decree. That I can see. Are you all coming with me? So the three friends arrived at the plain of Dura where all the other officials had gathered. A messenger from the king called out loudly, This is the king's command. When you hear the sound of horns, flutes, zithers, lyres, harps, and pipes, you must fall down and worship this golden statue. Worship a false god? That's worse than odd. I wouldn't even give it a nod. Oh, and FYI. If you don't do it, you'll be thrown into a blazing furnace. <laughs> Immediately, music began to play. Every single official threw themselves down on the ground except for Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And let me tell you, their refusal to bow did not go unnoticed. Who do they think they are? I think we should make things hot for them, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Several officials dusted themselves off and went straight to the king. King Nebuchadnezzar, may you live forever. Thanks. Will do. You told everyone to bow down. As soon as they hear the sounds of the horns, flutes, zithers, lyres, harps, and pipes. But these Jews you appointed don't serve your gods. They refuse to worship your gold statue. Even when they hear the sounds of horns, flutes, zithers, lyres, harps, and pipes? Even when they hear the sounds of horns, flutes, zithers, lyres, harps, and pipes. Oh, now I am very angry in a very big way. The king sent for the three friends. Is what I hear about you true? Don't you serve my gods and worship the gold statue I set up? We will not bow. Even when you hear the sounds of horns, flutes, zithers, lyres, harps, and pipes? We refuse to kowtow. Even though you'll be thrown into a blazing furnace? This ends now. Even if we're thrown into a blazing furnace, the one true God will save us. But even if he didn't, we still wouldn't serve your gods or bow down to some golden statue. Uh, that didn't rhyme. Nebuchadnezzar's face burned red as a ripe tomato. <sighs> Make the fire seven times hotter. Tie them up, throw them in. The king's strongest soldiers grabbed Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They knotted heavy ropes around the three friends and then shoved them into the roaring flames. The king peered into the blue, hot heart of the flames and then leapt back in surprise. Didn't we throw three men into the fire? And they all deserved it. Look, I see four men walking around untied. The fire hasn't harmed them. The fourth man, Looks like a son of the gods. Sure enough, a fourth figure stood there with the three friends. An angel? Or perhaps Jesus himself? Dumbfounded, the king rushed to the door of the furnace. Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, you who serve the most high God, come out. The three friends walked out of the scorching flames 
completely unharmed. The royal officials crowded around to see. Their hair isn't singed. Their robes haven't burned. They don't even smell like smoke. King Nebuchadnezzar was so impressed that, as usual, he went big. May the god of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego be praised. He has sent his angel and saved his servants who trusted in him. No other god can save people this way. So, I'm giving an order about the god of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. No one may say anything against him. Well, what happens if somebody does? Well, they'll be snipped in tiny pieces and the homes turned into piles of trash. Go, God. God. Go, Go, God. God. Go, 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 God. Go, God. Go, God. Go, go, God. Go, 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 God. The king even honored Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and gave them higher positions in the kingdom. Pretty amazing story, right? I think the thing that stood out to me the most was that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego said that they refused to bow down to the statue. The Bible says, even if we knew that our God wouldn't save us, we still wouldn't serve your gods. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego had a lot of confidence, didn't they? They stood for what they believed in and they stood together. They weren't alone in that furnace. These three men knew the truth about God and they believed in him so much that it didn't matter what happened to them next. They knew that God was with them, even in the fiery furnace. When you trust in God, you can live with confidence because you know that he's always with you. God can protect us because he's always with us. That is something that you can trust in. That reminds me of our bottom line today. Trust that God is always with you. Can you say it with me? Trust, trust that God, God is, is always with, with you. you. One more time. Trust, trust that God, God is always with, with you. you. Remember that you can trust God no matter what. You can depend on him through anything that you have to face in life. Mm -hmm. Now let's pray and thank him for that. Yeah. God, you're so amazing. Thank you for the story of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego to show us that you're with us in any trial and anything that we go through. Lord, please continue to stay with us and give us strength when things get hard. We ask all these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. That's all we have for this uh, week. Uh, uh. Ready to wrap? Oh, man.